Want to add bleed to your document in Illustrator? Here's how in this very simple tutorial. If you're starting from scratch, when you've opened Illustrator, go to File, New, and from there then make sure you've selected your print document, put in your desired width and height, and then here, this is where you'll add your bleed. Make sure this little link button is clicked here because that will add the bleed to all sides of the document. Happy with CMYK color mode and your PPI, and you can press Create. And there you go. There you have your document and you see a bleed on the outside here. So when you're creating artwork as such, make sure that everything extends over the edge of your document to the edge of the bleed. And then that way then when it goes to the printer, you won't have any of those white lines when it comes to printing and cutting your document. Now, if you've already got a document and you want to add bleed to it when you've already been working in it, that's absolutely simple as well. You come to File, Document Setup, obviously units will be in millimeters if you're working in print, and then here then are your bleed options. Again, make sure this little link is clicked and it will add the bleed according to top, bottom, left, and right. And then when you press OK, there you go, you can add the bleed there. And you can always go back and change this then using File, Document Setup. And again, as we did in this document here, any artwork that comes to the edge of your page or your document, make sure this extends over to the edge of the bleed so that when it goes to the printer, you won't have any issues with white lines. Finally then, when it comes to exporting, obviously it depends on how you export this, but make sure include bleed options are included. So for example, if you export the screens, here you can make sure you include bleed and then the same then if you save as pdf you'll get this save adobe pdf box come up and again come down to mark and bleed and make sure you've selected use document bleed settings and then from there then you can save the pdf so there you have it if you're working in illustrator and you need to send files to the printer make sure you add your bleed it's very simple to do as we've just seen in this tutorial and it will save you a whole ton of headaches when it comes to printing out your documents your brochures whatever it is i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it useful if you did please like subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments of any future tutorials you'd like to see on this channel until next time keep on designing and i will see you for the next tutorial